Jesus, Eddie, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable course. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Kenway. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edward I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate.
Yanumuk Awoyetel Abishan. And once more, you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting up, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. Edward. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison, I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Wee taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his letter and passed out in the hold from drink. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch, all the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside? I do. I know my targets by sight well enough. How will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find them. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find them. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for you. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Way anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary and Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you and No worries about this. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> 